This is the new Fritz 12, brought to you by Chess Central, programmed by Chess Base. As you can tell, if you're familiar with older versions of Fritz, this program has been completely redesigned. All of the menu items, the look is totally different, all of the menu items have been redone so that all of your most commonly used commands are within easy reach. No more drilling down through multiple menus to get to where you want to be. Also, the view menu has easy checkbox for all the different panes that you can use on the screen for different displays. What we're going to do with this video is show you two of the most visual aspects of the new Fritz 12. So we're going to change some of the panes around. You can either uncheck them in this view or you could just go to a little X and close the ones you want that way. One of the new views is called measurements. There are two gauges just like on the dashboard of a car. One of them is a hotness gauge, which shows the dynamic potential within a given position. When you have a position up on the board, this gauge will move as you go from position to position. It'll go up and down depending on whether there's more or less dynamic potential, potential for action in a position. The other gauge is called the matometer, and, or the mate-o-meter if you want to read it the way they wrote it, but I prefer to call it a matometer. And what this shows you is the checkmate potential within a given position. And we'll show you how these uh, gauges change throughout a game. We have an early position from a Karocon advance. Not much hotness potential, absolutely no mate potential in this position. But as we scroll down through the game, which is a game that Fritz played against itself a couple of days ago, we'll jump to a given position here. And we see how a little red light pops on. There's going to be a change. And we see the hotness meter has jumped up because there's fewer pieces on the board. All the pieces have that, are, that remain have a much wider range of action. The hotness meter goes up. There's going to be some, uh, some action on the board if things continue on the present course. Jump down here to move 35. And what we start to see here, hotness goes down. Matometer goes up just a hair because what we're starting to see is we're starting to see black pieces start to come around the white king here a little bit. And as we step through the game, one move at a time, we can see the meters going up and down as we step through it. Here we have the hotness meters jumped up just a little bit. We have a couple of more captures, a little more movement, and suddenly the gauges start to move. Uh, what happens here in a couple more moves is you wind up with a whole bunch of black pieces right around uh, an unprotected or, or scantily protected white king. Suddenly the hotness gauge goes way up into the red. There's going to be some action. It's coming pretty soon. So we jump through a few more moves here and we can watch the gauges move once again up and down reflecting what's going on on the board. Now the matometer starts to crawl up a little bit as the hotness meter goes up as well. And you get the idea. As we step through the game, as pieces move around on the board, the gauges will change to reflect what's happening on the board, alerting you to dynamic potentials in the case of the hotness meter and alerting you to the possibility of a forthcoming mate with the matometer gauge. That's how, basically how these work. If we had a position on the board where there was, say, a forced mate in five or six, you would see that matometer totally peg into the red, just as the hotness meter has done in this particular position. We're going to change these around a little bit. We'll close this, and we'll jump to a evaluation profile view. This is the new evaluation profile. And what we're going to look at here is how they've changed it. This is the evaluation profile as you've seen it in the past. Uh, it's, you have different views that you can turn on and off in the evaluation profile. For example, if you want to take a look at the search depth, it's totally flat. This was a game that Fritz played against itself with a 13 ply search depth. That's why this gauge is totally flat, this, this graph here. Uh, so we'll close that. That's not terribly useful, but we can look at time. This shows you how white and black use different amounts of time to arrive at their decisions throughout this game. And of course, the evaluation itself, um, if it's above the line, it is a uh, white advantage. If it's below the line, it's a black advantage. You can see that white was never really in any serious trouble in this game. But how the evaluation profile has changed is they have a new view called the logarithmic view. Each line above the center line represents a, a doubling. Um, for example, if you have a position up here where white is uh, has an advantage, it's actually twice the advantage 
that this line would indicate. In other words, 4 is twice 2, 2 is twice 1. So each line on this graph is actually a doubling of an advantage or doubling of time. So it's a different kind of view for the evaluation view. So that's another graphic display difference in the Fritz program. But once again, the big, big, big difference in Fritz 12 is just in ease of use. The menus have all been changed so that your most commonly used items are right within easy reach without you having to drill down through multiple menus.